A glitch was found in Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door called Blooper Skip. This effectively lets you skip the blooper boss fight and keep Professor Frankly until a point in Chapter 2. And frankly, this glitch makes a ton of hilarious situations. To do this, you have to perform two frame-perfect jumps, which prevent the game from setting a proper point for you to respawn in a hazard. This basically makes you appear at the pipe instead of the ledge where you started at. Here you see me attempting the glitch in slow motion. What I do is jump in a downright position as soon as Mario is able to move, and then jump in a right position the frame Mario lands. Then you just walk to the right until you reach the water, and if the chain chop and sound effect it makes do not appear, you did the glitch right. You can then proceed down the non-existent pipe and keep playing the game. Once you perform this glitch, the game believes you have done all the previous actions of using your map to find Petal Meadows and leaving Professor Frankly behind. One thing that happens is when you go past the cutscene with Hooktail, Goombella will reference Professor Frankly when he's right by her. If later you attempt to go back to the sewers, the platforms are there again and you can continue playing. This is very fortunate because if they did not come back, it would cause you to be softlocked in Petal Meadows forever. If you decide to go check in with Professor Frankly, Surprisingly, an imposter will be there. Professor Frankly will act like he never left you. He will continue to follow you around like nothing changed. However, when you make it to Petalberg, Unfortunately, Professor Frankly is too stupid to even cross a bridge. Luckily, he has teleporting powers and will show up right by you. I'm now going to go through a bunch of the funny stuff that happens with this glitch, so if you have this game yourself, this glitch works on both English and Japanese, so I recommend trying it yourself. But if you are leaving the video, make sure you leave it with a like and a comment and a subscription if you want more, but I'm going to go on with the rest of the video now. One thing you'll notice when you check your emails in this game is Frankly sent you an email with a picture of himself. No, I have no idea when he had time to do this shit or make this picture, so it must be his imposter. Next you'll notice that Frankly really is just a jerk. Coop comes to talk to you but Frankly won't even give them the time of day to look at him. He's truly just a savage. Another thing that I forgot to mention earlier is that if you are in a battle, since you never had the cutscene where you get star power and sweet treat, there's no audience and there's no sweet treat. This does come back soon though and I'll explain that later in the video. Next, when the quiz happens, unfortunately Frankly gets left out. While Goombella and Mario are chilling in the booth, Frankly stands on the ground. One time I even had it where Frankly was standing on the thwomp side instead of yours. He's kinda angry you leave him out. But don't worry because Frankly does get his revenge later. While you're fighting the Golden Fuzzy and his crew, Frankly is nowhere to be seen. However, after the fight, he's like, I didn't see nothing. But you know, that's not enough revenge for Frankly. He even takes it further when you meet Koops and when he wants to join your team. Dude just doesn't care that you guys just got knocked for no reason, he's not like hey stop it, he doesn't try to do anything to help you, he just lets you take it. Thankfully, that's pretty much the end of Frankly's revenge. And you know Frankly refuses to not be the center of attention, anytime the center tries to go on someone else he's like nah. I am the star, I don't care about you at all. Koops is trying to have a touching moment with a person who he thinks is his father, but does Frankly care? Hell no. And here's something that I just wanted to show because you know, even though Frankly's a professor, <laughs> he's just, he's not the smartest person in the world. Moving on, remember the scene in the game where you try to get the key, and then there come spikes that are both on the ground that make a maze and spikes coming down from the ceiling. It's very emotional. You don't want to die. Your partner doesn't want to die. Well, when you go through the door to leave that room, guess who you leave behind? Frankly. You can even hear him trying to get through the door, but he can't because Mario's a jerk. Oh wait, I forgot he can teleport. Soon enough you make it to Hooktail. This fight is special in that there needs to be an audience because Hooktail eats them in the middle of the fight. The game makes a couple of toads show up for that purpose, but if you attempt to do stylish things, they will not give you star points. Then when you finally beat Hooktail, Koops finally gets a chance to talk to his dad again. Too bad Frankly's an attention whore. Now you may be sad that chapter 1 is over and Frankly is almost done for, but we learn some terrifying things about him first. It turns out that Frankly is actually working for Sir Grotus. He follows Peach around and makes sure she doesn't try anything funny. He's also really good at teleporting.
But something even more terrifying is the relationship they have. Much like she will for Flavio, Peach openly showers in front of Frankly. So yeah, you know they must love each other, so when the computer tries to get Peach to love him and explain love to him, Frankly will stay back because you know he needs to tell it to back off his girl. So Mario has a Frankly and Peach has a Frankly, but you know who else needs one? Bowser. Bowser's Frankly unfortunately doesn't do anything notable, but hey, at least he still has his minion, right? Now that we saw Peach and Bowser, it's finally time for Mario again. As Mario, you're supposed to go back to the front of the Thousand Year Door and get your new power as well as find the Bogley Woods. When you get transported to Frankly's house, you can hear the other Frankly jumping and trying to get in the house, but the one you're talking to doesn't want that to happen. Next, there's a glitch that I think is super interesting. Because you have Frankly with you still, when Puny joins your party, he disappears and actually becomes Frankly. This can be seen in a few text boxes. Unfortunately, once the hybrid puny slash frankly creature leaves your party, it transforms back into a puny. When puny joins your party again for a small amount of time, he's back to his regular self and the frankly glitch is over. Even though this video is over, there is still a ton of stuff that is yet to be discovered about this glitch and a lot of stuff that I may not have even covered, so I truly recommend trying this glitch out yourself and writing in the comments what you found. I want to make more TTYD content in the future, which includes things like glitches and other cool things about the game, so my channel will have much more of this content but it won't be entirely just this. If you guys do have any cool glitches or anything you want me to go over in another video, make sure to comment it in the video and I'll tell you what I think. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like on it, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.